this tutorial in which we will create a website using Weebly. Uh, we will add a domain name, a site name, an editor, choose a theme, and change some theme properties as well. Okay, so once you've signed up to Weebly, okay, just click on this uh, drop down arrow at the top here, near where it says my site, and then select add site. Okay, so what Weebly is going to do here, it's going to ask you to choose a particular kind of website. We're going to select the one on the left hand side, which is I just need a website. Okay, then what it will do, it will give you a selection of different themes. Okay, uh, just for the purposes of this tutorial, I advise you to scroll down under business, scroll down to near the bottom and then select the Muse Technologies one. Okay, I like this one because it's a bit of a blank canvas. It gives us a lot of uh, creative options in here. Select that theme, and then you've got a preview, so you can click on the different pages if you want to have a look uh, to see what that theme looks like. Okay, so we're just gonna hit, go ahead and click Start Editing. Okay, let's put in our domain name, otherwise known as a web address or URL, which is SEIS G6, followed by the five numbers in your student ID. Okay, so just put that in. I think I've used this number before, so I'm going to put in one, two, three, four, seven. Click the search button uh, just to make sure that that domain is available, which you can see it is at the bottom here, okay, under subdomain. Subdomain means that Weebly will just add a dot Weebly after the, the main domain or web address, okay? In fact, this is now your, will become your web address once you select choose. Little bit of information from Weebly here, telling you that you're awesome and you're ready to publish your website. So press done, okay? If this appears, just press reload. And Weebly will do some work behind the scenes and when it has finished that, you can just go ahead and select publish. Okay, so, uh, you know, your website is now ready to view. What I suggest you do next is change the site name. So I've already done that here. I've typed in seven elements of culture. Okay, now if you can't find where you can change the site name at the top, uh, just head over to settings here and then go down to site title and then put that on there, okay? Make sure you take this so that the title appears at the top of your pages. Press publish, okay? And then if you wanna test, uh, click on the link to test to see what it looks like, you can do that. Next up is to add an editor. So head over to the left hand side here, select editors and go over to the right hand side and then select add editor. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to add in the email address of your, the person you're working with, the editor. Okay, so what I'll do is add myself here, put that in. Then you can include a beautiful message if you would like for your editor. Otherwise, just click save. And then what Weebly does, it uh, generates an email and it would send it to uh, that person. What your editor needs to do is to open the Weebly email and then click here to get started. Okay. So what that does, it just brings them to the Weebly website. They should have already been logged in, uh, otherwise they just need to put their information back in there again. Okay, and then that person can start editing. There is a, there is one thing you must be aware of. You cannot edit the same page at the same time. Okay, so if you're working on the home page, your partner or editor cannot be working on that. So they'll need to edit like the government page or another one of the seven elements of culture. Okay, you have your theme, but you don't like the font type. Fair enough. Go over to theme to change it, okay? When you select theme here, it brings up this submenu. So we're gonna to go to change fonts, and we're gonna to go to headline, and then we're gonna change this font to something a little bit more sensible. I mean, Droid Sans here. And then from there, you can also change the size and the color, okay? You have a whole other bunch of options that you can go through at your own pace. 